Hey guys, everything on this one here. Science proves God's omnipresence. This is a great. This is from news.mit.edu, and uh, this is an MIT scientist and quantum uh, mechanics. MIT scientists find weird quantum effects even over hundreds of miles. Neutrinos traveling 450 miles have no individual identities, according to MIT analysis. In the world of quantum, infinitesimal infinitesimally small particles weird and often logic defying behaviors abound perhaps the strangest of these is the idea of superposition in which objects can exist simultaneously in two or more seemingly counterintuitive states uh, for example according to the laws of quantum mechanics electrons may spin both clockwise and counterclockwise or be both at rest and excited at the same time uh, not to mention uh, being in uh, two different places at once. <clears throat> the physicist Erwin Schrodinger highlighted some strange consequences of the idea of superposition uh, more than 80 years ago with a thought experiment that posed that a cat trapped in a box with a radioactive source could be in a superposition state, considered both alive and dead, according to the laws of quantum mechanics. Since then, scientists have proven that particles can indeed be in superposition at quantum subatomic scales, but whether such weird phenomena can be observed in a larger everyday world uh, is an open, actively pursued question. Now, MIT physicists have found that subatomic particles called neutrinos can be in superposition without individual identities while traveling hundreds of miles. <clears throat> Their results, uh, to be published later uh, this month in the Physical Review Letters, represent the longest distance over which quantum mechanics has been tested to date. The team analyzed data in the oscillations of neutrinos, subatomic particles that interact extremely weakly with matter passing through our bodies by the, billion, by the billions per second without any effect. Neutrinos can oscillate or change between several distinct flavors as they uh, travel through the universe at close to the speed of light. So um, what, I, what I took from it, uh, what I think is interesting is that, you know, this stuff, uh, quantum mechanics, and this is scientifically uh, observed, repeatable. This is empirical science uh, proving that uh, gods and angels and uh, spiritual beings can exist um, uh, and uh, can exist in multiple states at once. Uh, God being omni, uh, uh, omnipresent um, in all places at one time. Quantum mechanics effectively is leading us uh, towards, that, uh, uh, towards that scientific knowledge at least. Um, outside of the, the theological knowledge and uh, the general theory um, of um, God being able to be in all places at once, simply uh, mainly because he's outside of um, outside of uh, what's the world outside of our dimension. So we live in three dimensions, um, and God lives in outside of our our, our dimension, obviously. And uh, being that he does, that means he can be in all places at once. If you if you look at string theory, for example, there's uh, potentially uh, you know ten or fourteen uh, different dimensions. What's more, the researchers found that the data was uh, in high tension with more classical descriptions on how matter should behave. In particular, it was statistically unlikely that the data could be explained by any model of the sort that Einstein saw, in which objects would also embody definite properties rather than exist in superpositions. What's fascinating is many of us tend to think of quantum mechanics applying on small scale scales. David Kaiser, uh, professor of history of science at MIT, says, but it turns out we can't escape quantum mechanics. Even when we describe processes that happen over large distances, we can't stop our quantum mechanic description even when these things leave one state and enter another, traveling hundreds of miles. Uh, I think it's breathtaking. I think that's breathtaking, he says. The... Uh, they realized you get different uh, predictions for correlations of measurements of a single system over time. If you assume superposition versus realism, Kaiser explains, where realism refers to the models uh, of Einstein type, and uh, so I, I guess the realism would, uh, um, the, the theories of Einstein would work in a three-dimensional universe in which particles should always exist in some definite state. Uh, according to Formaggio's reworking of the Leggett-Garg inequality, the distribution of neutrino flavors 
the type of neutrino that finally arrives at the detector should depend on the energies at which the neutrinos were created. Furthermore, these those flavor uh, the distributions should look uh, very different if the neutrinos assumed a definite identity throughout their journey versus uh, if they were in superposition with no distinct flavor. Applying the modified version of the expression um, to neutrino, neutrino oscillations, the group, group predicted the distribution of neutrino flavors arriving at the detector, but uh, both if neutrinos were behaving classically according to the Einstein-like theory and if they were acting in a quantum state in superposition when they both compared uh, both predicted distributions, um, they found uh, there were virtually no overlap. And a key part is the last paragraph here where uh, really, um, you know, science was just observing quantum mechanics uh, happening at, you know, the atomic level. And now we see it uh, at the, the, the macroscopic level at uh, huge distances. And that means quantum mechanics is, happens on a larger scale than just atomic, uh, than the, just the atomic scale. Um, what gives people pause is quantum mechanics is quantitatively precise, and yet it comes with all this conceptual baggage, Kaiser says. That's why I like tests like this. Let, uh, let's let let these things travel further than most people will drive on a family road trip and watch them zoom through the big world we live in. Not just the strange world of quantum mechanics for hundreds of miles, and even then we can't stop using quantum mechanics. We really see quantum mechanics, quantum effects persist across mass, macroscopic distances. Just pulled up a, a quick definition of a superposition. Uh, the principle of superposition claims that while we do not know what state, uh, what the state of any object is, it is actually uh, in all possible states simultaneously. As long as we don't look to check, it is the measurement itself that causes the object to be limited uh, to a single possibility. So with our limited uh, scientific observation, we can only see it in one state at once, um, but other scientific uh, tests um, and uh, trying to reproduce this find that it is in uh, all states at the same time and I think that you know we're gonna find out uh, as science is, is gonna find out that indeed uh, God can be in all places at once in all shapes forms at once he is God and uh, he is the creator of quantum mechanics and so there's probably even a, <clears throat> a bigger thing than quantum mechanics at work here I have no doubt but quantum mechanics at least shows us that multiple dimensions are true multiple states all at the same time simultaneously is true and uh, I think uh, it's, it's exciting. Uh, science every day proves the Bible is true, proves God is real, proves God uh, can and, and does exist, and uh, really stretches the imaginations of, of those who would otherwise suggest that there's nothing outside of our reality here and uh, you know just think there can't be any gods because we don't see a god. Well, take a look at quantum mechanics and you'll realize that uh, things aren't always what they seem, and uh, science is indeed proving empirically. Um, that things are not always uh, what they seem and what we see. So uh, hang on tight, atheists and evolutionists. You'll, you'll find out soon enough um, that indeed uh, God exists, angel, angels exist, supernatural exists, multiple dimensions exist. Uh, science right here in, uh, and MIT science, scientists are confirming it every single day. Thanks for watching, guys. Exciting news. We'll see you in the next video.